What's going on everybody, Rob A here, and today we're taking a look at the Mega Constructs Masters of the Universe Battle Ram set. This set has 188 pieces and retails for right around 20 bucks. Uh, I picked this up at Amazon, but I know you can get it a couple other places. Um, I know Entertainment Earth has it for pre-order as well, so you've got some options there. This is part of the 8 Plus Pro Builders line. Um, which means it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to have no stickers, all printed pieces, and I'm really excited about that. You also get two figures in this set. You get Triclops uh, rocking a uh, very cartoon coloration and mecha neck here with a really cool looking uh, neck extension uh, play feature. So I'm excited about that. On the back of the box, you can see that the Battle Ram does separate into two parts, which is pretty cool. You got a little firing missile there. And uh, that's really all there is to say about the packaging, other than you can see the side here. You got a picture of Triclops and uh, the completed set on the bottom. And then on the side, you've just got Mechanek and then the same, same sort of deal. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get this set open, put together, and we're going to check it out right now. All right, everybody, so we got the Battle Ram all set and ready to go. Let's take a quick look at the figures included in this set first. And let's take a look at Triclops first of all. Um, so here we have Triclops. You can see it comes with a nice green sword. He's got his classic armor. There's his back. Very exciting. Um, and, of course, the eye. He does have his eye. This is his angry eye and you can switch it out he's got his evil eye and he's got his his clear eyes commercial eye with the ridiculous uh two eyebrows for one eyeball situation going on he does actually have a couple of eyes underneath his mask or underneath his helmet which we can pry off here and that's actually pretty cool because it's like He's got these metal plates kind of grafted onto his face, and that's underneath this visor. So I think that's a really cool addition, a nice little thing to add on here. And we just pop his head, or his visor, back on over. There we go. And we'll switch it back to his angry eye, because that's the coolest. Yeah, so that's pretty neat. I like that. It's a nice thing. Uh, the armor is very rubbery and it doesn't attach anywhere at the back, so just be aware of that. It might, like, float up on his shoulders a little bit, but, you know, not a big deal. There is Triclops. Next up, we have Mechanek, who was my favorite as a kid. I'm not sure why, like, not not the character necessarily, but the, the figure, the action figure. I really enjoyed the action figure of Mechanek. Um, he also has, like, eyes underneath this visor, but it, his helmet doesn't want to come off, and I don't want to force it. Uh, so you're just going to have to take my word for it. Uh, but there you go. It's a pretty cool sculpt. He does have this little feature where you get two extra posts for his neck. So you can just combine those together. And just pop it on the ball joint, and there you go. You've got a super stretchy mecha neck. And uh, they stay together pretty well at the joint there. Um, you can, of course, just twist it if you want some weird angles. So that's pretty cool. A nice little feature, and of course you can just pop all of those off if you just want a standard mecha neck. He also has his little... Uh, smacking stick there, his little bludgeon. He's got that, so that's pretty cool. He does come with some nice hard plastic armor. Very nice uh, tampos on there. Or at least paint. I'm not sure if it's tampos, but it's painted at least. Very, very cool. Silver boots. Back is pretty plain. Nothing really going on there. Let's talk about the Battle Ram. So let's move these guys off to the side for just a moment. We've got the Battle Ram. It's nice looking. It's very small. <laughs> like, looking at the box, you, that's the one thing that always surprises me about these sets, and it shouldn't, but just how small the actual vehicles end up being. Um, you know, because it comes in, a, a obviously, a fairly sized, large-sized box, and then 
comes out to be this tiny, tiny thing. But that's okay. So yeah, really cool. Very nicely designed. These are all um, printed pieces. No stickers in this set. You got the, this little detail on the side here. Um, do be careful because these pieces on the side do want to pop off pretty easily. Um, though I don't think it w would be the worst thing in the world if they did pop off, you know, whatever. Just put them off to the side. It's not, not that big a deal. You do get a uh, missile shooter on the back here. And this other printed piece. And it's just a, uh, just like a friction shooter. So you just pop that out. And you get some extra missiles you can store at the back. Some more printed pieces here. And then check in the back, you do get one of these little doodads that you've probably got if you've purchased any of the Halo sets, especially like the little mongoose sets. You probably have a couple of these hanging around. Um, it's just for a character to stand on, but if, if you don't want it, you just pull it out. It's on like a little, uh, you know, little pin. Maybe. Maybe I can do it without destroying the entire vehicle. Um, you know, I mean, whatever. It's just going to make me look bad on camera. That's... Pretty much the whole deal here. I don't know what's going. I can't get it. I can't get it to release. All right. Well, uh, you know, just take my word for it. I guess. Gee whiz. All right. That's not coming out. So I guess if you have this, it's just stuck. My goodness. It does come out. I promise. It's just on a little like you know Technic kind of pin. Um, just like these wheels, it's just on one of these. But uh, I think the fact that it's kind of thin plastic, I don't, I don't want to put too much pressure in one direction on it. So I'm just going to leave it alone. But uh, it does come out if you don't want it. Uh, and it, you know, it's a building set. If you really don't want it there, just take the take the whole thing apart and just pop it out from the other side. Not a big deal. Whatever. Um, anyway, <laughs> more details on this side, and of course. You get this front end here, which does detach, and that's a pretty cool feature. You just pull it, and it clips right in here. So you can have this little sled bit with your hero or villain on, whichever you choose. I'll just pop him on real quick. Quick like... Oh, Alright, well... Just gonna break the whole thing, guys. Just it's just what I'm doing today. Just breaking stuff. Ignore me. All right. <clears throat> yeah. So you can have this guy sit on here, and I guess you could have somebody else on the back of this if you really wanted to. Um, you know, I mean, this is called the battle ram, and you really can't. You're not ramming anything with this thing, right? This will just explode. This might be a kind of a ram. This this might qualify. Uh, so maybe this is the ram part and, you know, just sit on back here and roll it on forward. Uh, but yeah. And then you can just reattach it if you want to. If you can. Guys, I don't know what's going on with me today. <laughs> there we go. My gosh. So yeah. Um, battle ram, very cool. So this front end does also come with an extra piece. You do get uh, this piece right here. And what you're meant to do with this is you can, uh, well, all right, fine. <laughs> so in theory, all right, I'm just gonna take this apart. So in theory, you're supposed to be able to get this piece off and I might be able to do it without destroying everything in the universe. So, guys, I apologize if I if I pull this piece off and like your home disappears and like your pets are no longer around, uh, then I apologize because I'm apparently just destroying everything today. So it won't come off. <laughs> but uh, you are meant to put this piece on in place of this one. Uh, I guess because this represents the uh, the bad guys, the the villains, and this represents the heroes. Um, so you can change the um, uh, change the faction of your battle ram depending on which uh, piece you put on there. And uh, it still just doesn't want to. 
There we go. Got it. <sighs> and now all of you guys are just like, yeah, we get it. You didn't need to actually do all that. But whatever, there you go. You pop that piece on, and now it's more like a snaky kind of head. And then you can pop this piece back on, and it's more like a, I don't know, a griffin or something. Uh, and then we just put this whole thing back together because... Because doing this stuff on camera is difficult. Just so you know. And this piece is just held on very insecurely, so that's going to fall off no matter what I do. But there, there we go. There we go, and there you have your battle ram. And it can roll along just fine. And you've got your other bad guy head if you really want it. Um, and you've got triclops. <sighs> All right. <laughs> that said, um, don't deduct points for all the trouble that I've been having. That's really because I'm trying to manipulate this set and take pieces apart that are small uh, when also trying to keep it within the frame of the camera and then not knock the camera over with my big dumb arms. So please don't hold it against this set. Uh, the set's very good. It's pretty cool. Um, it looks like it's supposed to look. It does what it's supposed to does. And uh, it comes with two brandy new spanking figures for your Masters of the Universe Mega Constructs collection. Uh, so that's really cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy with it. So that's going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, then, oh, man, you guys are the best. But if you did, hit that like button because it really actually does, actually, really does actually help me out. Uh, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll be back with more mega stuff as soon as I am able to get it. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.